Did you know that you can send automated reminder emails to the people who need to fill out your forms? Let me show you how. Hey, JobFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently on my desktop, but I am in the features landing page for sending reminder emails. So if you have any other additional questions after this video, make sure you come to this features landing page, or of course, leave us a comment down below. But this is going to answer a lot of your questions about sending reminder emails. So let's go ahead and jump to my dashboard. Now, the first thing you wanna do is identify which form you would like to send reminder emails for. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my order form right here. So we're going to edit our form. And if you're already familiar with our email settings, you know that if you head up to the settings tab over on the left hand side, we have our emails right here. And this is going to be our notification email, which is going to let us the person who has created the form, let us know that someone has filled out our form. And then we have an autoresponder email, this is going to let the person who filled out the form have a copy of their answers. But the reminder emails aren't here they are under the publish tab. So if I head up to the top, we're gonna to head to publish, then over on the left, you see we also have email right here. We have share on email, and then we have schedule a reminder email. So if we click on this, we have a lot of different options to play with. So we can change this subject from the daily reminder. Maybe we just wanna say, hey, don't forget to fill out this form or whatever's gonna make the most sense for you. And as we scroll down, we have it already pre-filled out for us. So I'm not really going to edit this, but if you want to, you most certainly can. You can even add images. We can change the formatting of the font. But if we head back up, we can have our recipients. This is where we can identify who we want to send this reminder email to. Maybe we want it to go to very specific people. So we can go ahead and remove me because I don't need that reminder. I wanted this to go to the person that I'm sending it to. And I can add their email in here. Perfect. Then if we head to schedule, this is where we get to choose what this reminder schedule looks like. We have daily, weekly, or monthly, and we can see if we change that, it changes what that send date looks like. But let's say we're going to do it daily. When do we want that to send? Do we want to send it just during the week? If we want to send it just on the weekend, or if we want it to go every single day until they fill out their form. I think during the week is fine. You get to choose that time you want it to be sent and the time zone. We have that start date and maybe we want to add a custom end date. Maybe we only do this for a month completely up to you. Or maybe you wanted to go every single day until they fill it out. But as of right now, we're good to go. If we want to change the name of this, maybe this is going to a very specific person. Like I mentioned, we want to name this that person's name, we can do that. But as of right now, it is reminder email number one, but we can go ahead and save. And we have right here that reminder email from us to that very specific email and it lets us know send once a day the next email is going to go in 20 hours and 28 minutes and again we have another option we want to create another reminder email we can click right here and we have that process again but it really is as simple as that if you have any other questions about utilizing the reminder email options from within JotForm, definitely let us know down below in the comments but again don't forget to check out that features landing page for even more information if you like this video and you got some value hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.